so that's that so next is uh, block existing domains this one block existing domains tick this box to prevent orders being placed for domains already in your system I don't think we we need to do that because sometimes people can order different products but they're gonna use the same domain name so it's up to you but I recommend you to to not restrict that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uncheck this okay oh, I'm sorry about that I'm crazy about my pen here I'm keep using my pen instead of a real mouse okay so pardon me so I'm gonna tick uh, uh, I'm gonna uncheck or untick that so we are not going to block existing domains now the last three part is pretty straightforward this one no invoice no invoice email on order tick this box to not send an invoice do notice when new orders are placed of course we want to send out invoice right because we feel not how can the clients know that they should make payment so we want that so keep that as it is now right skip fraud checking for existing we want we want that because let me um, do this so this is what I'm talking now skip fraud checking for existing client yeah because if uh, an existing client has already passed an initial fraud checking which I'm going to cover later we're going to use a fraud checking system so you won't have so many fraud credit cards payments um, and keep the criminals out of your business but we don't want to make existing clients annoyed by this okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to tick this box mm. oops sorry about that okay so I'm gonna tick that box so existing clients won't get um, additional fraud checking okay so the last one here under orders last one here tick this box to always leave orders by new clients pending for manual review well it depends it depends on how how you want to do uh, things but for myself and I would like to recommend you um, I want to have automation used as much as possible but not to leave the fraud checking so I'm gonna leave this as it is because I want my products to be set up automatically then I'm gonna do some fraud checking um, afterwards okay to validate the orders because people don't want to wait this kind of um, times people want to have what they purchased as soon as possible okay so don't forget to always always click save changes there okay never forget that so I'm gonna save it now that's it next we're gonna talk about the domains here okay okay so I'm gonna close this video now and I'm gonna see you next on the um, domains tab on the next video thanks for watching